right now the seats sit about say 14 people, 12 to 14, but we can get about 20 on it with some people standing. But you can take the seats out and make it like a trolley, and you can have people just come on and off. See, this whole trolley, electric trolley system, the, com the country that had the best electric trolley system, the Philippines. Uh, Morocco had an electric trolley system in Manila, moved about 35 million people. So this is, this is the basically the new trolley. So you can have people come on and off. We have a series of sensors, okay, and artificial intelligence. So you look at artificial intelligence and machine learning and robotics. That's basically how it operates. And so we use sensors, seven different techniques for the vehicle to know where it is. And then with, through sensor fusion, we compile those seven different techniques so the vehicle knows where it is and then it knows where to operate. This vehicle is made in Florida, in the United States. Our headquarters are in California. And we have people here in the Philippines. Because what we want to do is there should be a human in the loop, so if there's any anomaly with the vehicle, a human can interact with the passengers, and there's no better place than the Philippines to have someone give people comfort uh, on the vehicle. So we're going to have we're going to be hiring people here in the Philippines, not only for the human in the loop, but we want to take advantage of the great technologists and roboticists that are actually here in the Philippines. Some of the kids this year in the Philippines, a local high school, they just won a huge international competition for robotics, and so we want to work with. The, that, that talent that's here in the Philippines to, see, to help us design you know, better vehicles in the future. How sa I'll tell you how safe it is. My daughter, my baby daughter, was a test driver. So I, you know, I fear two, two things, the devil and my wife.